Hey guys, I want to show you my uh, fermenter that I made for capturing wild yeast. Uh, what this pretty much is, is, um, you know, I've done some brewing in the past with wild yeast, but it's pretty much been kind of, you know, a little disorganized, so I'm trying to be a little smarter about it. So today I went and uh, picked some apples at a uh, kind of a wild orchard. It's actually uh, some state land that used to be orchards, so the uh, trees have just kind of gone wild, so I know that they're not sprayed, no chemicals, nothing like that. They're true, you know, wild apples. So I picked a bunch of them today, and I was real careful. I threw on some gloves, put them in a bag, you know, so I didn't uh, cross-contaminate them. And then uh, I sanitized this mason jar, and what I have is a little uh, airlock attached to the uh, lid, as you can see, just using a simple uh, grommet. Put a little water in there, and uh, what I did was I just added a little bit of apple, uh, of apple juice just to put some sugar in there for the... Uh, to make it readable for the for the yeast, and that's a uh, pasteurized apple juice, so there's no wild yeast in there. And the jar was sanitized with a commercial sanitizer, so I know that's good, as well as the uh, lid and airlock. So then I just sliced up the apple into thin slices, slices as thin as I can get them, put them in the juice here, and what's going to happen is after about a week, this will probably start bubbling and churning. And within probably, yeah, probably about a week, you'll see some bubbling. In about 10, 12 days, this thing will really be going just like a, a beer. And uh, at that point, what I'll do is I'll probably capture the yeast and use it uh, for something else. And we'll get to that and do some videos on that uh, when we get there. Just wanted to show you. And the great part about this system is a lot of people just, you know, take their brew and they leave. Oh, yeah, by the way, neat tool find, so video on that later. Um... A lot of people just kind of leave their brew open and let the yeast and the air come in. I don't like doing that because this right here gives me a little more power. After a week, when this really does start fermenting and the yeast do take over, I can smell this and get an idea if there's any off flavors or anything like that with it as well. So this is a good way for me to kind of try before I buy and commit. If it doesn't work out, I just dump it, start a new batch until I get a yeast that I like, and, and then I'll make a, uh, a brew out of it.